I think I moved slightly, but I think we're ready to go. Also, I found this. Sip this, which increases my alteration. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Hooray, my alteration's now up to still pretty bad, actually. Uh, where was I supposed to go? How you doing, Astrid? Brother. Sup? Uh, where was, what was the actual thing that I was supposed to do? You report to Festus Cracks. Apparently we don't have that set. That's what I thought. Looks like he's up and running again. Shadow scales are all but forgotten. Ancient tradition from another time. Yeah, pretty much everything with the Argonians sucks now. Enjoy your marshes. How you doing, Festus? There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Seriously? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. A little bit, yeah. So, who is it? How do I kill him? And do I kick it up a couple notches? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. What? A woman cook? <laughs> Are you serious, dude? <laughs> that had never happened. So, you don't know. Wonderful. Don't be so petulant. I'm always petulant. In my, uh... Investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Ooh. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markov. It would seem he's the cook. So he knows the Gourmet, then? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan, who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Do I punch him till I oh, get it? Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Can do. Loose ends and all that. Well, he'll Next, never know who I am anyway. Him. Are you still paying attention? What? Yes. Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. This is getting complicated. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. Oh. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Oh, you lost me there. Now off with you. All right. Kill the guy. Get the... Well, okay. Find out who the gourmet is. Kill that guy. Kill the gourmet. Take his writ of passage. Hide the gourmet. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. Probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Yeah, probably. Probably. So, let's head over and kill people. Uh, that's actually a pretty secret part of Mark Hearth Keep, if I remember correctly. Brother. Now I have to actually think about, like, are there doors? Like, that's the stuff I have to think about now, because I am in... A, a pretend assassin. I'm still not very good at it, but uh, I'm getting better, apparently. Come, Shadow Mirror. We are going off. It just sounds wrong to say it that way. All right, we're going to head to Understone Keep because that's where everything good happens. And we will see what we can do. That is an interesting sword. Useless, but interesting. How, how you doing, Gorza? That amulet. I've seen the Nords wear these when they're looking to marry. With your strength, you should have no trouble. So here is uh, one of the people that I'm considering, Gorza Grog Bagol. Uh, I do have to look at the other person. I remember you, though. You, I remember. We'll just try to keep that in mind for later. Until next time. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. You didn't hear this from me. But we've uncovered the plot to kill the Emperor. It gets better. Bring it. Where is only meat God. Oh, so you think. You All right. See we will uh, head in here and pretend that the guy wasn't about to say something racist because I don't think he was. But it, it sounded like if you see that orc, like, oh, great, this is not going to end well. All right. So we need to go into the kitchen, talk to the guy, and then kill him. Damn those four swords. Do you think they can kill people in my city? Are you still talking about that? That was so a long time ago. There are doors here, yes. Like, ooh, a double set of doors. Where the hell? She's not coming. I have to work, or Anton will rip. 
Oh, I'm gonna kill all three people here, aren't I? All right, yes, let's talk yes, to you. Yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a rich man. Oh yes, High Rock, home of exquisite Breton cuisine. I think they're making a joke about British food here. Who are you? What do you want? A gourmet. Where is he? The, the gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. That can be arranged. Okay, I could actually say that too. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagog Gronolo. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? Can I say yes? I'll just remain silent. So, we're done? Sure. Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Uh, could you guys, like, go? Damn it, you opened the door. Close, close Anton door. sure looks like he's from the Reach. But don't tell him that. You guys won't tell anybody, right? You don't like him anyway? God, you guys are just all hanging out together, aren't you? You should talk to Anton if you need anything. He's the master chef. Yeah, not really. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Hey, how am I gonna do this without you guys seeing me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Being attacked. Help! Somebody help! I think they saw me. Now, I did bring my potions of invisibility. I don't think they're going to help me here, though. I'll give it a shot. I think it's... Help! Help! Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Because... Like, I was fine for a second. Nah, they still spot me. He's got a amethyst on. Maybe that'll be worth it at the end. And a silver garnet ring. Uh, these are these are not important to me. Holy crap! Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Oh. Okay. Uh, just. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After pay the fine. Yeah, we'll just pay the bounty. I'm fine with that. We're still somehow making money through this. But, uh, now we gotta kill another guy. Where's this other guy? Is he in here? Uh, are you guys pointing it on the map for me? Are they over here? Holy crap! I figured the Night Gate Inn was somewhere in town. Guess not. He's all the way, like, halfway across the map. Shadowmare, thank you for pointing your ass at me. No. Nope. Whatever. Why do I get 40 bound? I love the cold there. It's exhilarating. All right, Perhaps he's fine. We're taking his rite of passage. It's because of my north and... blood, but there's something about it that makes it alive. And we're we're hiding him. We're hiding him, like right in the river. All right, I'm, I'm taking him now. There we go. That's what I wanted from the beginning. Seriously, they're telling me to. They're telling me to hide him there. Sure. Why not? All right, so what, what's up next? Re report back to him. Can do. Shit, I was supposed to do it the other way. This way is so much easier. There we go. Just hit the map button from the journal. 
Makes things so much easier for me. All right, so we actually did one well and one poorly, but I'm okay with that. We should get a decent reward for this. I guess that's how I was supposed to do it if I was supposed to drag his body right in there. My timing either worked out great or that's where he always spawns when I show up. Either way, I did it. Giving myself a C on that one. But uh, we can go back to Festus Crex. Festus. You must be talking about Festus Crex. Yeah, so that's right. The prodigal murderer returns. The and the gourmet? Prodigal murderer? I've been on your side ever since I joined. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet. But disposed of the body as well. Yeah, it looks like he drowned. Uh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. I did it right. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the keep's cook has met an untimely demise. Yeah, that one was a little harder than I gave up. You performed your duties to the letter. Yeah, I still sucked at the first part, though. Uh, I'll just to stay silent here. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Yeah, not enough to look at me, Here's Ralph. your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. Well, I wasn't going to say it's it. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Yeah, we'll take now, a look at it. You better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. All right, looking good. So, let's see what we got. Look, it sounds like a ring to me. What do they call it? The Night Weaver's Band. Sneaky is ten percent better. Destructive spells cost ten percent less. All right, we'll see if we can disenchant that. And if not, uh, I'll the shadow sell scales it at some point. are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition from another time. Astrid. Why don't they just automatically update my quest so that, you know, that's the actual So it's one. done. You've killed the gourmet. Indeed and I have. now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Well, not quite, but I'll do that too. We're ready? Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Big surprise. I won't disappoint you. The Emperor will die for Sithis and the Night Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I try. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. I can't decide if she's hitting on me or Go not. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. Didn't I kill You'll him? You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef. So you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. You're going to give me poison, right? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. That's not Once possible. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Shit. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. I don't think that's what the listener was supposed to do, but what else are you going to do? Also, you're not going to have a tester for a chef that you brought in that you that nobody knows the identity of? Like, that's kind of where this plan falls apart for me, Until but whatever. Next time. There's probably lots of things that uh, don't happen properly around here, but seriously... Oh, we brought the, in the sensational chef. Nobody knows who he is. We trust him wholeheartedly. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Go. Let's go to Solitude. And see what we can find there. I would like a Jarl's helmet. It probably sucks, but I kind of want it. Maybe it's Dragonbone. What are, I don't know what Dragonbone looks like. I'll find out eventually. But, uh, not right now. You're the guy that offers me a job. The divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. 
Yeah, my trials are uh, still going, and uh, they're actually quite rewarding so far. So I'm yeah, just even as it is. Crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless. How you doing, Stop Commander right Mero? Tower is off limits until further notice. I have a thing. What's this now? It's a thing. Uh, order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet. Azra. I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand. I'm, you're not dressed as I would have suspected. Yeah, you really should but check please, me. Don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. At least take away my axe. Like something. The Emperor's coming, dude. You guys are the worst Secret Service ever. I don't know if other countries have Secret Service. That's pretty much the President's personal guard. Other people too, and they have other duties, but that's primarily what they're known for. No chef in their right mind would expose that much flesh. Seriously? Like, there's a reason people don't cook naked. On another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. I'm in charge here. The gourmet? Damn right. Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Y you're an orc. It's just, well, you're an orc. Racist! <laughs> if the people of the Empire only knew. I mean, now I understand your need for secrecy. Most would... Silence! I am to ready to prepare the grand feast! Get out of my way while I poison it. I mean, oh. just go. Actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. You need a top. You need a chef's apron before you cook. You don't need a damn hat. <sighs> Fine painting in here. Put on the damn hat. Hat does not make a man. Jester's hat might, but uh, it's not what we're going for today. Where's the chef's hat? There we go. Gulug Malarg. Master Chef. It's been a while since we've seen his face. I've, I've almost forgotten what it looked like. <laughs> I forgot that I have like one completely opaque eye. Like the uh, corneal opacity is strong with Gulag Malarg. All right, let's go. Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. So you did imagine an orc. All right, enough. The gourmet is here to cook, not talk. Let us begin. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> The Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. My signature dish is a drink? only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. Or is the that like a stew? The base broth is already boiled. Uh, it's we can stew. get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? My secret ingredient. Uh, okay, make the Potage Le Magnifique. Um, okay, it, it's, it appears to be a stew of some kind, so carrots would work just fine. Carrots? Really? Okay. Well, it's better than a sweet what roll. Next? Uh, splash of mead. Ah, of course. I suspected as much. A giant a nern root? Really? Oh, I use nin root as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Mm. Okay, now what? Um... Diced horker meat? Mmm, horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. You're, you're just waving a hand. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Uh, add this? How, ba how far back is my auto say? Yeah, we'll try it. Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Yeah, who's the gourmet around here? We're kicking it up a notch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. Yeah, taste it. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well... The best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. 
I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. No, I don't do that. Shit. Why do I do that? No. The chef does not go into... It's, it's rules. It's proper etiquette. Fine. Like, seriously, that is not a cooking outfit by any means. Seriously, she's going to have so many burns up there. Like, do you know how much shit splashes? Oh, you're gonna get like a steam burn. Those are the worst burns! Cause it actually like soaks in due to osmosis. Oh, it's terrible. Burns are the worst, man. There's there's no real treatment for it. They're like, here, have this have this, you know, salve and like you rub the salve on and it's like, well, that helped for about ten seconds, thank you. Really? Quite. Here we are. Get the gods, I'm nervous. nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. That's a full-time job. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one, now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Do I have to stand here and watch? Can I just sneak through?